Hi everyone. Um, so today we are going to be talking um, about different ways to represent numbers. So we're going to be doing math today. And um, there are lots of different ways to represent numbers, but for today we're going to talk about four. So the four we're going to talk about today are standard form, hundreds, tens, and ones, uh, pictures, and expanded forms. So we're just going to jump right into things. Um, we are going to start off by um, representing a number in standard form. So I'm going to do the number 128. So 128 looks just like that. And I've just written the number in standard form. So standard form is the um, most common way that numbers are represented. Um, it's the easiest one to do. And I've written my number 128. So I'm going to go ahead and check off that I have written my number in standard form. Now the next way that I'm going to represent my number is in hundreds, tens, and ones. And we need to be focusing on each digit, the individual digits, and what place they are in. So we know that the one here, this is in the hundreds place. The two, this is in the tens place. And the eight, this is in the ones place. So because my one is in the hundreds place, I know that I have 100. Because my 2 is in the tens place, I know that I have two tens here. And because my 8 is in the ones place, I know that I have 8 ones. Okay? So this is what the number looks like when I'm representing the number of hundreds, tens, and ones. So I have 100, 2 tens, and 8 ones. So I have done that. And now I'm going to represent my number in pictures. So if I wanted to represent 128 in pictures, first I'm going to focus on my one that's in the hundreds place. And this is what 100 looks like. 100 is represented by a big square like this. Now, um, if you looked at pictures of 100, other pictures of 100, a lot of times you might see that they look something like this. There's all, there's actually, 100 little squares inside this big square. It would take us a really long time to draw a picture like this, so we're not going to do this. But know that the reason that this big square represents 100 is because actually you have to imagine that there are 100 really little tiny squares in this big one. But that takes way too long, so we're, we don't draw them like that. We just draw one big square and imagine that there are a hundred tiny little squares inside this one. Now I'm just going to draw one square right now because I have a one in my hundreds place. I wouldn't draw three because I don't have three in my hundreds place. I only have one in my hundreds place. So I'm only going to do one. So, so far this is a picture of 100. Now I'm going to focus on my tenth. So in my tenths place I can see that I have a two there. For tens, it is lines just like this. And again, this line actually represents 10 little squares just like this, right? But I'm not going to draw it like that because that takes too long. We're just focusing on quick pictures. And I know that if I draw one line, I can imagine, I can use my imagination and imagine that this represents 10 tiny smaller squares each representing one, so it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten here. This is a ten, okay? So I have two tens. So, so far, I have a one in my hundreds place. So I have one big box representing 100. I have a two in my tens place. So I have two tens representing my tens. And I have eight ones. And ones are little circles. And that's how you draw a number. So if I count it, I could see that I have 100, 110, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128. So I've officially drawn a picture of the number 128. Now the very last thing I'm going to do is expanded form. And expanded form is a little tricky, so I want to make sure that you're paying attention. Now, there is a right way to do expanded form, and there's a wrong way to do expanded form. I'm going to show you both and tell you why the wrong way is wrong. So this is the right way to do expanded form. Now expanded form is focusing on the value of each place. So I'm going to start off with my hundreds. The way I do it is I say, okay, 
I have a one in my hundreds place and I look at my picture and I count and I say, okay, 100. This is 100. Then you're gonna put a plus sign, just like that. Then we're gonna go on to our tens place. And if I count by tens, I know I have 10, 20. So the value of my tens here is 20. That is the value. The value of this big square, what this is worth, this is worth 100. Remember how we said there were 100 tiny little squares in this? This is worth 100, so I'm putting what it's worth here. Remember how we said that these are like um, lines that have 10 smaller squares? These are each worth 10, so 10, 20. The value is 20. And then lastly, we're going to do our ones. And I know that the value is eight ones. If I count it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I counted by ones for my ones place, that that's worth eight. So you always count um, a line with the place value. So if I'm counting my hundreds, I'm counting by hundreds. If I'm counting my tens, I'm counting by tens. If I'm counting my ones, I'm counting by ones. And this is the correct way to do expanded form. Now I'm going to show you what a lot of second graders do, and this is wrong. So watch carefully. This is the wrong way to do it. A lot of second graders do this. They say, hmm, I have one in my hundreds place, one plus two in my tens place, two plus eight in my ones place, eight. Now let's count. One plus two plus eight is 11. This equals 11. Is 11 the same thing as 128? No, those are not the same thing. This is the wrong way to do expanded form. But 100 plus 10, 20 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If I were to total 100 plus 20 plus 8, guess what? 100 plus 20 plus 8, that actually equals 128. So they're the same thing. So I have successfully written my number in expanded form now. Now something else that I should say is that when you're doing numbers in expanded form, you don't have to put an equal sign. So you're not going to finish this off by saying equals 128. We already know that it equals 128 because we're representing 128 this way. We know that this is 128. So we don't need to put this equal sign. So you don't need to worry about that. So let's review. There's lots of different ways to represent numbers, but the four main ones we're doing in second grade are standard form, which is the average regular way that most people write numbers, hundreds, tens, and ones, which is just focusing on what number is in the hundreds place, what number is in the tens place, and what number is in the ones place, quick pictures, where we represent hundreds with big boxes, tens with lines, and eights with little circles, an expanded form where we're focusing on the value, what each number is worth, and we are writing it out divided up by plus signs. We're separating those by plus signs there. Okay? So, um, I would like you to um, ask me any questions you have in the comments below. I would also like you to write a number in um, expanded form. You can do whatever number you want. So maybe you want to do the number 427 or 982, whatever number you want, I'd like you to leave it in the comments below and show it to me in expanded form. Okay, well I hope you guys learned something about representing numbers today, and I look forward to seeing you again. Alright, bye second graders.